Hello everybody, it's your favorite guest chef on Chrissy's site, John Legend. I am going to try to make a really special dinner for Chrissy tonight, and I've heard that oysters are an aphrodisiac. But I don't know how to do anything with oysters. I don't know how to shuck them, I don't know how to do anything. But sometimes you need to call in a true professional. And we've called in a true professional, Paul Barbosa, folks. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Paul's gonna show us how to shuck an oyster. So, Paul, I've also heard that you can find pearls in oysters. Maybe that's the real aphrodisiac, is giving your wife a pearl. That would probably also work. Okay. Except it's, you'll only find a pearl in about one in 12,000. So, <laughs> probably in your lifetime is not possible. So, it might be easier to go to the jewelry Just go store. Buy one. Yes. <laughs> So how are we gonna shuck these things? Okay, so uh, when you get them from the store, mm -hmm. uh, first thing I do is take a little brush or a rag and just get off a little bit of the dirt and like little seaweeds that are on there. So, so they come clean. to you dirty? Yes, because they're straight from the ocean floor. Straight from the ocean floor, sand, whatever. Everything is in there, yeah. They do their best, but All a lot of, of times your there's litter, a little bit. you heathens. <laughs> uh, Not everything has to be political. This is flat and oh. there's no global warming. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> Once they're cleaned, uh, I put them in a damp towel and then just cover them and they'll stay like that. Remember, if you get them in a plastic bag, they are alive, so you will suffocate them and kill them if you just keep them like tight in a bag. So they're still alive right now? Yes. Oh. That's what's keeping them closed. So there's two muscles Hello, inside hi. called abductors. Hi. hi. And if you get one that's actually already open or it feels open or it doesn't shut, um, it's most likely dead, so I would throw it away. Okay, so first thing, um, I would put on your Kevlar gloves so you don't put Ooh. a knife through your hand. I put a knife through my hand before. It was actually a mandolin. Chrissy laughed at me and made fun of me. Two minutes later, after she made fun of me, she sliced her own hand. So, how do we start? Okay. We have first, our gloves on. Gloves, got your knife, got mm -hmm. a towel. So go ahead and grab an oyster. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. It's, it's tiny. There's basically a hinge that's on the back of this oyster that's helping it stay open oh. and closed. So that's what we want to break first. We're gonna basically put our oyster knife inside of there, kind of wiggle it, and just open it through there. Is this the hinge for me? Yes, so that'll be the hinge right there. So you'll get it more stable if you put it down okay. here so you don't stab yourself. Yep, I was so, preparing to, but I was like, I'm invincible, I have Kevlar gloves on. <laughs> so yeah. once it goes inside, then we'll just kind of go back and forth. Yeah, that's uh, what wanna, she said, that's what <laughs> you he said. Okay. Till it slides right in. Okay, yep, all of that. <laughs> Okay, it's in. Okay, so you get a little wiggle. So now it's like stuck on there, right? Okay, so all we're gonna do now is we wanna go around the whole lip of the uh, oyster and you'll feel a muscle right when you start to do that towards the front and you wanna cut that muscle away. So yeah, go ahead and stick that. it in like deeper, like see how mine's like almost all the way in? Just stick it in deeper, all that. So now we can open it. Uh huh. So here's, you can see that top little muscle right there. Uh -huh. That's the top part that holds it down. Okay. So there's a one on the bottom, so we can get rid of this. Okay. So we just put the top so shell there. Get rid of that top. And then uh, making sure not to spill any of the what we call the liquor out of it. Oh. Because uh, that's save also a lot that. of flavor as yes. well. So don't just dump it out or it, be careful what you're doing. Like don't dump right out now. the liquor. That's where all the flavor is. And we'll go through the front, so you can start a. F you can feel where that muscle is and just mm -hmm. go right under it. Mm -hmm. um, I also like to take it and flip it over. Because the the bottom it's side like is the is the smoother side, so it actually right. looks it's just it looks aesthetic. more pristine. Exactly. Uh, so a lot of people ask like, how do they know if they're uh, eating a bad oyster or have a bad oyster, especially if you're doing this at home? You know tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you will know. <laughs> you will also know. You should know right away because as soon as you open it. You give it a smell like, you can smell it taste like, or it smells, smells like, like the, the ocean. Exactly, mm -hmm. so that's a fresh oyster. It will smell terrible if it's bad. All right, one more. One more, see if we can clean up the top. Yeah, I'm gonna easier. do better this time. Okay. Let's, okay. I'm yeah. not finding the right spot. Well, let's try. Um, I'm not hitting the right spot. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't yep. exist. <laughs> Welcome to Chrissy's <laughs> life. It's not the size, <laughs> it's the motion. <laughs> okay, I got it. Delicious living things. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over per my instructions. Okay. There you go. I did a good job. Why, thank you, Paul. So, 
How will we serve these things? Do you serve them just plain or do you um, like to put a sauce on them? Yeah, actually I eat them plain, maybe just a little squirt of lemon on them okay. to get some acid. But uh, we made two sauces that for people that uh, maybe want a little something more with them. And we will post the recipe yes. right underneath this video. So do you serve them um, just with the sauce on the side and then people do it there? Yeah, so oysters is kind of like a do-it-yourself kind of yeah, thing. So you could just put out whatever you want. Some people like a lot of sauce, no sauce. So this one's kind of like a cocktail. Yeah, so that one's just straight ketchup and, and horseradish, very traditional cocktail sauce. And then we also did um, a slight Asian mignonette. Ooh. So that's just uh, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of salt, ginger, and soy sauce. I'm going to eat one with the Asian sauce. Here we go. I'm going to go with that too. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Fantastic. Good job. Cheers.